We are talking about tables. The table beneath me is easy to create. We use GT and GT Extra to do it. You've got access to all the data that I'm gonna use in this video. You can be able to replicate exactly what I'm doing at home. That's the best way to learn. Let's get stuck in, boom shakalaka. Now I have made a previous video on GT Extras, which is what we're using to create these tables. And I'm gonna go into a slightly deeper dive in this video. There will be subsequent videos to this one because I can't get everything done in one video. This is quite an extensive package, but you will learn some interesting tips and tricks. So let's do this giddy up. I'm this YouTube channel, we're creating our programming videos on everything. Now, as always, I'm using data that you have access to. In this case, we're using the Gapminder data set right here. It's got countries, continents, life expectancy, years, population, GDP per capita, which is kind of a measure of the wealth of a country or the economic productivity. Actually, in order to access that data, you need to install it and load the Gapminder data set. As well as having access to the data that I'm using, so you can replicate this at home and that's the best way to learn. I also have some cheat sheets and I will have a cheat sheet on this that you can use. It'll have all of the code that I'm using in this tutorial will be available in a PDF format. I just wanna show you how to get there. Uh, Learnmore365.com, this is what my webpage. You need to create an account, it's free. Click on free resources. You scroll down and here you can select just our programming free resources and boom shakalaka, all sorts of lovely things for you right there. So first things first, we've installed and loaded the Tidyverse set of packages. We always do that when we work in R. I've also included the R Color Brewer because I wanna do some things with colors. This is not a tutorial about colors. I just use that to get nice palettes. We're gonna talk about that a little bit. GT Extras is basically an extension of the GT package and gives you all sorts of extra nuts, uh, bells and whistles. We're gonna talk about that and Gapminder is the package that gives you the data. Now, let's have a look at some code to produce a simple plot. Okay, it's not gonna be the one that you saw on the screen a few seconds ago, but we're gonna build up to that. Right, we're gonna create an object called plot because I'm gonna run that plot through a number of themes uh, which you're gonna enjoy seeing. So we start off with creating an object called plot. We uh, taking the gap minded asset, we're piping it in. I've renamed the country variable into country with a capital C. There are other ways of doing this, but I do that sometimes because I know that R is gonna use that word as one of the label headings in certain themes, and I like it to have a capital letter. Uh, you can, with other coding, kind of set the labels post hoc, you know, it's up to you. I, this might not be the best way of doing things, I don't know. Uh, we're just gonna look at European countries, so filter continent Europe, group by country. Now, here we're creating a table right? And I'm not going to get into the nuts and bolts of how group by and summarize work together. But if we group by country, and then we create summarize function, we create new variables, in this case, GDP per capita, and I've said is equal to the mean GDP per capita rounded off. So I don't, I don't want all the decimal comment uh, points, it makes it a little bit messy. Same thing with population size. It's, this is the mean population size, mean pop, rounding it off. And then look at this, life expectancy here. I've got this as a list, okay, and that's quite important. And I'm gonna show you, basically, if I stick in an extra line of code here and I go view uh, and have a look at what that looks like, we get a table that has, okay, by country, we've got GDP per capita, population size, these are averages. And then under life expectancy here, we've got, actually got a list, we've got all of the life expectancies uh, for that particular country. So we've created a basic table, right? But it's a bit messy, that's not very presentable. The next line of code, you have got a range by GDP per capita, but I've actually got a negative sign in, in the front saying, instead of starting smallest to largest, I'm starting largest to smallest. Got it. Head 10, I just want 10 lines of the output just so that the tables we produce are uh, just easy to look at for the sake of this tutorial. Okay, and here's where all the magic starts. GT, so GT Extras is a kind of continuation of the GT package if you install uh, you know, if you if you load the GT extras package, GT is automatically there, and that'll produce a little table. And then we add in a couple of lines of code just to make the whole thing look a little bit better. So GT plus plot plt underscore dist, which is distribution. And in the first the argument that I'm putting in there is life expectancy. Remember, we said life expectancy is a list. It's a whole lot of data. It's all of the life expectancies for that particular country. So it's going to produce a little you know, a distribution of that in our plot. Uh, easy peasy lemon squeezy. Tab header, this is just the heading that goes above the respective uh, column headings. Uh, so I've said GDP and population size of Europe. And then Coles align, align left is the argument. I like everything to start on the left-hand side. I think it looks neater, right? So 
if I run that, it's going to stick all of that into this object called plot, and then I'm going to run plot, and you'll see what happens. And we can see beneath me it's produced a table, not quite as pretty as the one that we're building up to, but this is a good start. Um, it's done everything that we expected it to do. It's quite neat and tidy. We can just have a closer look at that. It's much neater than what you would get just with a normal output. And this is quite presentable, but we're going to add in a couple of extra bells and whistles. The first thing that I want to look at is themes. So GT Extras comes with a number of themes. Um, and there's a couple, and I'm just going to go through each of them so you can see what they look like. Let's look at the first. It's theme 538. I'm not quite sure where that number comes from, but anyway, it is what it is. Now let's look at the dark theme. Now there's another theme called ESPN. We've got an Excel theme. We've got a Guardian theme, and I like this one. And then we've got a theme called PFF. Now for the rest of the video, I want the PFF theme assigned to our plot. So I've said plot, you know, assigned to plot, uh, you know, pipe operator, GT themes, PFF. So from now on, plot includes this theme. So let's have a look at a couple of the things that we can do with this plot. Okay, let's get our code up here. Right, the first thing that I want to do is I want to take the countries Iceland uh, and Belgium and just highlight them in pink. So easy peasy lemon squeezy. We've got a function called GT highlight rows. And the argument inside that function is rows equals country in concatenation Iceland and Belgium, uh, comma, fill equals light pink. I mean, it really is exactly that simple. And if we run that code, voila, our same table with Iceland and Belgium in light pink. Now, the next thing I want to do is I want to create some bars for GDP per capita. And it's going to be GT plot bar so plt is for plot bar and then percentage so you can just create bars or you can create percentage bars that shows you kind of relative to the biggest amount in that particular group uh, what percentage each of them are then the arguments there within are we want this to happen to which variable the gdp per capita variable we want the bars to be filled in steel blue that's the color that i've chosen and then you can determine the height and width of those bars i've said 15 and 100 for this particular example let's run that and see what happens Boom shakalaka, a lovely plot that includes a bar plot uh, on GDP per capita. So easy peasy, lemon squeezy. The next thing that I want to do is I want to add in some colors, right? And I want to add, let's look at the, the code and then you'll see what it turns into. I want the population size column to have colors associated with each value. Okay, so what, let's look at what we've got here. We've got plot. Okay, we don't need to, this line, I can actually delete that because we've said plot already includes that theme. Happy days. Now, GT color rows, right? So the rows are going to be colored, but not the entire row. We're specifying in the argument here that it's just of that row, of every row, just the column population size needs to have this applied to it. And then we want to use this palette. And this is where our color brewer comes in. Pastel one is kind of a nice palette. I like it. There's a lot. You can use any of them. That's fine. And then we've re-included our uh, GT plot bar percentage that came just now. And if we run that, that's the plot that we started out with at the beginning of the tutorial. It looks absolutely lovely. You can see in the population size, we've got colors there. Uh, you can use any kind of colors you like. Actually, there's all sorts of things you can do there. I'm going to stop there. We're going to do other videos on GT Extras in the future. Click on the link on the screen that you can see right now if you want to go to get the free resources. Watch another video. Don't ever change. Don't do drugs. Always do your best. Speak to you soon. Take care. Bye.